many new cars today are equipped with highly integrated premium audio systems, making them difficult to replace or even interface to. In many cases, the vehicle owner simply wants to upgrade the audio system while leaving the factory radio intact. To understand the obstacles associated with these premium audio systems, we must first look at how they operate. Most premium audio systems from vehicle manufacturers have separate amplifiers, generally located under the dash, under a seat, or in the rear of the vehicle. They typically include component speakers and a subwoofer. We will focus on a specific architecture where the factory radio supplies a flat, two-channel, fixed amplitude audio signal to the amplifier and sends commands to the amplifier over data bus. A fixed amplitude signal is one that is not affected by any of the adjustments made from the radio. This includes volume, balance, fader, and tone controls. These adjustments take place in the amplifier in response to the data bus messages from the radio. For example, when the radio volume is adjusted, a digital message tells the amplifier to increase or decrease the gain input, resulting in volume change. Balance, fader, and tone controls work in the same way. This is possible because the amplifier has a digital signal processor built into it, making this simple and cost-effective. The DSP is also used to apply equalization, making low-cost speakers sound better. Most modern audio systems typically include Bluetooth hands-free calling, voice recognition and feedback, and in many cases, navigation. The audio signal for these systems is routed into the amplifier on a separate audio line. This makes it possible for the DSP in the amplifier to play this audio in specific speakers in the vehicle and attenuate the music, replacing or mixing this audio into it. These audio sources are also controlled through the vehicle's data bus system. Now that we understand how the factory system works, let's look at how aftermarket amplifiers and speakers are typically installed in these vehicles. The most ideal scenario would be to use the unprocessed audio signal coming from the factory radio. However, this requires a separate volume control to be installed, and since there are only two channels of audio, we must create front and rear signals and provide a way to fade. Most people want to use the radio and steering wheel controls to manage volume, so this method is not very common. The more common solution is to use the signal after the amplifier, which will respond to the radio volume controls. However, there are many problems with this method. Because the audio is separated into independent channels for each speaker, to get a full range signal, several channels must be summed together with the use of a sophisticated aftermarket signal processor. The factory amplifier also applies equalization and sometimes time alignment to tune the audio to the car. The aftermarket processor can undo most of this, but not without considerable installation expertise and a lengthy tuning process. Once the audio signal has been corrected, the signal processor provides RCA outputs for any aftermarket amplifier. However, there is no way to properly route the separate Bluetooth call audio, voice alerts, and navigation prompts to the correct speakers. Making matters worse, in many cases, the factory amplifier modifies the EQ curve as volume is adjusted, undoing the correction applied by the aftermarket DSP. Now there is a better way. Introducing Maestro AR by iDatalink. When installed with a compatible amplifier or processor, the factory amplifier is completely replaced and we can use the clean audio signal from the radio and all connections are made through a vehicle-specific T-harness. Let's look at how it works. When the Maestro AR is installed, the clean two-channel audio signal as well as the Bluetooth voice and navigation signals are passed directly to the iDatalink compatible amplifier or DSP through separate input channels. The vehicle's data bus messages are passed to the Maestro AR, which translates them and converts the factory radio controls to messages to control the aftermarket amplifier or DSP. 
The result is the factory architecture is perfectly replicated. When other audio needs to be mixed in and routed to specific speakers, the Maestro AR tells the amplifier or DSP how to do this and where to play the audio, allowing it to work exactly like the factory system. The factory radio's bass control will even control the aftermarket subwoofer volume, eliminating the need for a separate control knob and giving the user a seamless experience. New vehicles are becoming more and more integrated every year, making them harder to replace or even interface to. The Maestro AR offers a simple and seamless way to upgrade your audio system while maintaining the factory radio and infotainment system. Currently, the Maestro AR is compatible with many newer Ford, Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge vehicles, and more will be added in the future. Ask your local iDatalink retailer or representative for more information about the Maestro AR.